What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to, I guess, what is part two of this mini bike build. Hey, Vi hey, Viv, I'm making a video. You wanna say hey? Say, say hey. What do you need? Oh. Okay. All right. I'm make. I'm making a. Can I make my video? You sure? Okay. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> that's my daughter. So I guess this is a uh, part two of this mini bike build. Uh, I think the last time I made a video on this was like three months ago, and I mean I had barely had all the parts for it. Um, this is where it sits now. Um, so. As you can see, I got the motor mounted. Uh, it actually runs. I've ridden it. Uh, it absolutely fly. Um, you know, even though considering the carb, it's, it's running way too rich. The carb is... I bought a bigger carb than it needed uh, because I'm planning on modding the motor further. So I went ahead and bought a bigger carb in preparation for that. But uh, we'll get to that. Uh, but as of now, here's what I've done. So this is a... Just a little recap. Uh, this is a five horse flathead Briggs. Um, I've done some just basic stuff um, to it as far as performance goes. Shaved the eyebrows, uh, cleaned up all the, ca the rough castings in the ports, uh, semi polished the exhaust. There's n nothing crazy in there. Uh, it's got a little fire slot. The spark plug is indexed towards the fire slot. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. It makes me feel better, so we'll just uh, we'll go with that. Um, but anyway, so let me just, let me get to this side and I'll show you the carb. <clears throat> this is a Makuni VM22, uh, 22 millimeter throat size carburetor. Um, and of course, you know, when you're, when you're putting that type of carb on a motor like this, you're going to have to make your own intake manifold. Um, the intake manifold and the exhaust pipe, uh, that's made out of, uh, an industrial, bathroom handrail I just happened to have it and I was like oh crap it's chrome that's gonna look good um, so you know you make your 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 flanges and don't laugh at my welds this is what I got so uh, anyway so like I was saying it's running rich um, I have some uh, some jets on order uh, like 10 different sizes of jets and I'm just gonna just go through and find the one that it needs so, got the gas tank on there. Gas tank is mounted, so that way I can put the upper fairing on there and the, the gas tank cap comes out where the factory tank would have been when I had the two-stroke on there. Uh, this is a 30 series torque converter uh, with a 5 8 shaft. As you can see on this side, 5 8 shaft comes out of the back side of the torque converter. So essentially, I guess like a, I mean, I guess like a jack shaft. Uh, made the mounts, welded them on there, reinforced them there, reinforced them at the bottom. Um, this sprocket up here, I forget how many teeth it is. I want to say it's like 15, 15 tooth. Number 35 chain. Going back here, I got my sprocket on there. That's a 60 tooth sprocket uh, with like a, I think it's like a two and, I don't know, it's around a two inch inner hole diameter it fits right over the freewheel that is on this thing which <clears throat> I'm not sure if I like the freewheel on this or not it makes it makes a weird riding experience <clears throat> but I will tell you it being running as rich as it is and fouling plugs like no other um, if I don't crack the throttle and just keep it to where it makes power I mean the thing will absolutely fly I mean, it is, of course, it's loud too. Nice straight pipe exhaust. I need, I need to upgrade the brakes too. These are just mechanical brakes. I have heard that you can get um, hydraulic brakes for these. So I guess that would be my next move. Um, <clears throat> so some of the things I, I still need to do is I need to clean up the fuel line. This fuel line is just for me testing everything out, seeing how it does. Excuse me, I'm outside and the pollen's killing me. The kids are riding their power wheels around, kicking up an absolute dust cloud of pollen. But anyway, she's fun, real fun, real scary. 
Uh, definitely need a helmet, that's for sure. But um, I've had the front wheel off the ground just just slightly, so and that was with running bad and under maybe maybe quarter throttle. I can get it to float the front end, which is fun. <clears throat> a few things I need to do. I got to fix the pull start. So when I got the motor, I, I never I, this pull start is off a lawnmower, and it has the same same cup inside of there or the same paws for the cup, so it works. <clears throat> so when I go to put this thing on here, I guess the bolt down here was already stripped out. And this one up here is on its way to being stripped out. So I'm going to have to wallow those out a little bit and re-thread them, re-tap them. But, uh, yeah, she's fun. This is, I guess this is video update number two, I guess. Um, so I'll try to make another video of it. And I apologize for that. I'm not real good at making YouTube videos. I mean, people tell me I need to be making YouTube videos, but... I mean, I just I just get more concerned with building stuff, and I'd almost need somebody here filming me while I do all this stuff because trying to coordinate scenes and all this other mess while I'm building. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can get my son to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's real fun. I feel like I'm probably ninety percent the way there. Um, I'll be able to really hone in. <coughs> Excuse me in. Once I get those jets. So, I just want to add too that this, this carburetor, it's a Makuni clone. I think I paid 26 bucks for it off eBay. Um, the, the, the funny thing is about Makunis is it's a very simple, simple carburetor. And the patent ran out on Makuni. Um, and because of that, <clears throat> they're really easily cloned. And because they're so simple, it's almost hard to screw it up. So... I mean, it, it's, I've had it apart. It actually looks pretty decent inside. The float was fine. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't messed up. So, <clears throat> I mean, if you're thinking about doing something like this, if you put a 26, well, a VM22, which is what this is, on a stock flathead 5 horse, you're going to want to go ahead and buy some jets for it because it's going to be way too rich. <clears throat> so... But if you're like me and bought a bigger carburetor in preparation for a cam, you know, a little bit higher lift, um, stuff going on, more flow inside the motor, then yeah, you'll be okay. But until then, you need to buy yourself a jet kit. <clears throat> and I do believe you can get it to run. But it is definitely possible to get a Makuni style carburetor on a Briggs flathead. But, uh, guys, sorry if I'm just rambling on about this thing. I, you know, like I said, I'm not real good at making videos. I feel like I'm better at building stuff than making video. But, uh, I, I mean, if you want me to, you want to see anything else about it, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to try to continue to make videos. I mean, I, I do enjoy it. It's just <clears throat> something I just have to get used to, I guess. And, I mean, I don't even know if people even like this stuff. So, I mean, if I get people interested in what I'm doing then I might consider you know making some more videos more constant videos but uh guys thank you so much for hanging out with me <clears throat> need to get some water if I choke to death here in the video again thank you for hanging out with me um if you have any comments please feel free to leave a comment if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more subscribe let me know if you're interested and um we'll go from there and Lincoln, do you want to say anything set, to everybody? Hold on, here you go. And set notifications. <clears throat> oh, and set notifications. Dude, Lincoln, that is fantastic. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.